Jordan Henderson wants to leave Saudi Arabia after only six months. What a shocker! What happened and what reasons preceded this decision? Find out in a new video from Inside Football Channel. Folks, give us a like if you didn't expect such a turn of events and subscribe to our project right now to watch top content about world football. With that out of the way, let's get into it! To begin with, it would be worth figuring out why Jordan, the captain of Liverpool, who still had two years left in his contract, had suddenly decided to leave Jurgen Klopp's team. As you may guess, the whole deal lies in new signings and restructuring. After finishing on the fifth place in the 2022-23 campaign, thus being left without the Champions League qualification, it was time for changes at Anfield. Especially changes in the midfield the area that has been causing the most complaints from Jurgen Klopp and Klopp supporters for quite a while. Considering all these circumstances, no wonder why the management of the Reds went all in and supported the coach in the restructuring process. Four transfers were made to fulfill the midfield gap, like the signings of Wataru Endo, Ryan Gravenberg, Alexis McAllister and Dominique Sabasli, who costed a total of 172 million euros. Oh my god, that's an impressive amount, isn't it? Back in the summer, Jurgen Klopp had a conversation with the captain where he openly stated that Jordan will have much less minutes in the upcoming season. Well, here you are, the first and main reason why Henderson at the age of 33 thought about the departure and wanted the new experience as he later justified his move to Saudi Arabia. The option with al Ittifaq FC didn't immediately suit Jordan for many reasons, one of which being the restriction of human rights in Saudi Arabia. This option was not a priority for Hendo at first, but as soon as the problem was solved after inviting Steven Gerrard as the club's manager, the problem of Henderson's arrival was also resolved. It was from Stevie G that the captain's armband passed to Jordan and the boys even had some time to play together. At some point, Jared also resisted to tie his future with the Saudi Arabia, but the generous salary offer eventually did the trick. Moreover, the club behaved with the footballer very professionally, promising him to fight for the expansion of human rights within the country as one of the contract conditions. Eventually, 14 million euros was paid for Henderson services, and the Liverpool captain earned himself an absolutely insane salary offer, which was impossible to refuse. 663,631 pounds per week. Damn! According to the Planet Football, as well as reports from The Athletic, this sum could be even higher, around 700,000 pounds. Only Sadio Mane, Riyad Mahrez, Karim Benzema, Neymar Jr. and Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, have a higher salary in the Saudi Pro League. And that was the second reason for the transfer, not some mythical new experience, which is now ridiculed by all number one game fans. Moving on to main reasons for Hendo's reluctance to continue representing al Fak. You see, it's not only about him and his family's inability to adapt to a new country, but also the sharp criticism from local supporters who don't show any sign of respect for the stellar foreigner. Totally different in terms of culture, living, nighttime training, getting to bed late, waking up during the day. All these aspects destroy the usual routine of Henderson, who was quite upset with the new reality he found himself in. The Al Edifact captain was also shocked by the low attendance of one of the world's most star studded leaks. The average attendance rate at matches with the team's participation measured to 7,854 fans, which is less than every club in English football's top two tiers and 14 of the 24 clubs in Skybet League One. Al Edifak, like Jordan, are struggling on the football pitch. The team currently occupies the eighth place in the league's standings, and therefore they are subjected to devastating waves of criticism that borders on insanity. The Knights of Adana won only one of their last 12 matches. Henderson hasn't seen the professional attitude of many of the club's representatives both in training and during matches, which leaves us with another critical factor. However, what truly disappointed Hendo was the announcement of his transfer. 
In Ality Facts video to announce his signing in July, images of Henderson's captain armband, including the rainbow armband he wore in solidarity with the LGBTQ community, were grayed out. Many people interpreted that as censorship. Henderson responded by telling The Athletic, I didn't know anything about it until it was out. It's hard for me to know and understand everything because it's part of the religion. So if I wear the rainbow armband, if that disrespects their religion, then that's not right either. He has been a vocal, visible campaigner for LGBTQ rights in recent years. And that's why these episodes struck Henderson, who felt completely bamboozled. Another big reason for wanting to return either to the Premier League or top European football is Henderson's desire to take part in Euro 2024. Jordan understands that he could lose his place in the squad due to Gallagher's progress at Chelsea, Curtis Jones's accomplishments at Liverpool, and a possible move of Trent Alexander-Arnold to the midfield, where he has recently been used more often by Jurgen Klopp. We would like to remind you that the desire to play and be seen was one of the main reasons for Hendo's departure from Liverpool. In case Jordan stays in Saudi Arabia for another six months, then he could actually be scrapped from Garth Southgate's plans. Right now, Henderson is offering his services to Premier League and Bundesliga clubs. The Premier League can provide a place in Chelsea's squad if the Blues decide to offload Gallagher. While in the German Championship, Hendo sees himself as part of Bayern or Bayer Leverkusen. Al Idifak and Turin have no intention to lose Jordan, and they certainly won't enter any negotiations with potential clubs with great desire. At the same time though, such a quick comeback will not be easy for Henderson to handle either. The matter is that according to The Telegraph, Jordan Henderson will risk having to pay at least £3 million in tax should he return to the Premier League in January, as current tax laws mean everyone working overseas has to do so for at least 12 months or pay 45% of their earnings if they return early. Well, Jordan Henderson is not the only one regretting his decision to join the Saudi Pro League. There are at least four more performers with big names who would want to forget this new experience as soon as possible. For example, Roberto Firmino, who started off in a style at Al Ali, scoring a hat-trick right in his debut appearance, but not scoring a single goal in the following 16 games. Now the Brazilian is considering offers from EPL and Turkish Super League clubs. Neymar also doesn't feel happy at Al Hilal, making only three appearances and failing to convert a penalty during the match against Al Shabab. But here is the catch the ACL injury, which kept the Brazilian out of action at least until this summer. With that in mind, Ney is already thinking about retirement from professional football. Maybe Santos will be his next and last stop. Ali Dihat spent a record amount of money for the transfer of Jota. But from the very beginning, it didn't work out well for the Portuguese. There was a dispute with the coach Nuno Espirito Santo, who didn't understand why he wanted this player in the first place. At the moment, some say that the club is willing to let Jota out for free. What a mess! Karim Benzema is yet another star who wants to forget about Saudi Arabia experience like a bad dream. Despite the fact that the Frenchman continues to make the difference with his 12 goals and 5 assists in 20 matches for the new club, al Hat fans are still not happy with the Frenchman. The club is in the 7th spot in the league and the winner of the Ballon d'Or 2022 receives the nickname Ben Hazima, which translates to the son of defeat in Arabic. Ouch! One may remember the recent story when, after a flurry of criticism and abusive messages, the Frenchman had decided to deactivate his multi-million dollar Instagram account and leave Saudi Arabia before the club's last match in 2023. Not everyone spends time in the Saudi Pro League as sweetly as Cristiano Ronaldo. Despite the crazy money, life in Saudi Arabia is not for everyone's taste. And Jordan Henderson is the first on this list of those who want to leave this paradise of millionaires. Heart, lifestyle, long distance from home, disruption of family life, drop of professional status and standards, risk of losing his place in a three-lion squad, reputational damage. All these aspects played a crucial role in Jordan's desire to go back to the Premier League or European top football scene. Guys, please leave us a like if you enjoyed this video and want more related content on our channel. It was Inside Football. We watch football 
from a different angle. Check out other suggested videos, including Phil Foden's son, Ronnie, who already became a millionaire at the age of four. We sincerely wish you a good one and see you in a bit.